Hello everyone, I'm Jordan Man, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time, we learned out how to use action commands with our hammer button and our jump button. Murdoch met up with Merlo, and we d went to the dojo, and we also got our path cleared out for us. We also went on a little shopping. And now this time, we're going to go towards the Koopa Village. Storming. The Koopa Bros Fortress, Chapter 1. So obviously that was just the beginning of Chapter 1 and such. And basically you want to watch out because these enemies will actually actively try to hit you. For these right Koopas, I recommend not getting hit by a first strike. So, basically if we learn anything from the, that one enemy from the, the dojo, using hammers on a Koopa is a lot better to do right now. So let's just do that and... Oh no no, I don't want to use Tattle, I want to use Head Bomb. And we can also guard enemy attacks. After the Koopa gets onto their back, they become easy to take out. Speaking of which, we can head bonk the Goomba, if we actually timed it correctly. But luckily we can actually time it correctly ourselves so we don't take damage as well. Now to mention, taking out Goomba is not only taking a single action command, so that's at least good. So let's just make sure we don't do what I just did with that one thing. If anything, this Wing Goomba should be easy to take out. Yeah, if you can ever use your hammer on them, do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this Goomba in one turn. And the Wing Goomba is going to get head bombed by a Goombario. Oh, they only have 2 HP. Neat. We don't even need to clip their wings. So let's see what's in block number one. Absolutely nothing. Block number two. Nothing there. Okay, so keep in mind, you don't want to jump on anything that has spikes on it. You will take damage, even if it does say you got first strike. So, just take your hammer. And hammer away! And we're just going to head bomb the Wing Goomba. And we're just slowly gaining experience here. If anything, I'm just taking out any enemies that basically cross my path here. And basically collecting any items on the road as well. Ooh, I want! You got the Dizzy Attack Badge. Delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. You may actually want that badge equipped. I wonder, how many badge points do I even have? Uh, Dizzy Attack costs two. I'm going to wait for my next level up so we can level up our badge points so we can equip more badges. But let's just destroy one block, two blocks, three blocks. Ooh! The Fright Jar makes Scary Spirit appear and chase some enemies away. Now, if you're ever facing off against some enemies, you do have a run option. Unfortunately, that run option does cost you coins. With the Fright Jar, it makes those enemies go away, but you don't get any experience from said enemies that run away. So, if you're going to do that, make sure you know what you're fighting first. Okay, I see a question mark block. Okay, let's see if I can actually do this. Well, let me see what's in here. For Ooh, Pal Block! There we go. That Now we got the first strike. Fine, I'll jump on you! Goombario, take care of this, Koopa. And we can still guard, so that's at least nice. I'm gonna let Goombario take care of that one. I'm gonna put this one into a stance where it can't do anything to me. And Goombario will take care of this last one before it can get back on its feet. Which means I should be able to take out this Koopa easily. 
There we go. Oh wow, that Koopa has, has a lot of HP. Who would have known? And yet they're worth as much as a Goomba. I wonder how that Koopa even feels. That's basically the equivalent of a, of a Goomba. Ooh, blue switch. Don't mind if I do. Now, if you actually go to think that jumping into the water, I could easily make that jump and just... I see you hiding in there. You think I would fall for that, did ya? But here's the thing, I have eyes. And he, you know what? I also want level, so... Get over here and get dead! <laughs> oh! Right! Goombario can't do anything to these guys. Um... How many items do I even have? Uh... Got a Sleepy Sheepy, Bright Jar, Pal Block. And Gabario can't do anything. That's the problem. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. And Gabario can't do anything. You know what? I'm gonna use the power block that I actually wait. Do I just use a fright jar? Uh blast it. Gabario, why do you have to be useless in this fight? That takes care of one Goomba. Gabario, just title on this thing. This is the Spike Goomba. Spike Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Max HP is 2, attack power is 2, defense power is 0. Except for the spike on their head, don't jump on them. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes or you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. Apparently that spike has paralyzing properties. Yeah, even when we do guard, we do take a fraction of damage if it does do damage. We have to raise up our defenses for that one. But as you can see, when we tattle, their HP will be shown for every fight now. Oh no, a Goomba chasing me. What will I ever do? I missed out on a coin. This Goomba will die for- Goodbye, I'll take care of the Goomba. And now we can get to this one. And that takes care of that Goomba. By the way, I do recommend taking out any enemies you see on this path. Basically, any RPG that I say, find a way to take any path. Also, what's down here? I want! <laughs> I know how to get it! <laughs> but we have to wait till later. Ooh, Sleepy Sheepy. I feel like we're... Okay. I'm gonna first see what's in here first. Okay, let me jump on you, Koopa. Oh, we got a. Okay, so. Gabario, take care of this. Actually, no, you're gonna be stunned for one turn, so Gabario can take care of that. Which will take care of the Flying Goomba. Mario can take care of the Spike. Well, time to hammer this Koopa! Okay. Goomba, go in front of the line and take out this Koopa so we can hammer that Goomba. And... Hammer time! There we go. So we took care of that. It went up here. I doubt it. Ooh, coins! Not as many. Oh well. 
There's a sign. Toe Town. Koopa Bros Fortress. Koopa Village. We want to go to Koopa Village as Merlo said. So, Koopa Village we're going to. If we go to the Koopa Fortress, it will stop you because you won't be able to be able to do that. And why would you put a tree here when I can't even hammer it? But you know what? I can hammer these. Wait, can I hammer... I wonder, can I hammer you? No. More trees out of the way. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys, they're really naughty. And of course, they're stealing shells. Oh no, stupid fuzzies! Get back here with my shell! There we go, that takes care of one fuzzy. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing! Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, alright? What shell? <laughs> Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. Oh no, the fuzzies are already trying to steal my overalls? Also, what makes you think I can't jump up here? That takes care of that. Oh, you're the best! Thank you very much! Wait. What are in these books? Ooh, coin! Don't mind if I do. A dried mushroom? Can I just eat this? Uh, I threw it away for a reason. It's just a dried mushroom. Nothing of use for me. Uh, hammer tree. There's your shell. Thanks, Mario. This shell was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? Koopa Leaf. Uh, do I want to get rid of anything for that? Honey Syrup does that. I don't really want to get rid of any of my mushrooms. Now, this is where you want to keep in order of your item management. So, what I'm going to recommend that you do... Unfortunately, I'm throwing the Koopa Leaf away, and I won't get another chance to get it. Also, don't worry about the fuzzies that are basically active. If anything, I don't even recommend that you... What the heck are you doing? Supposedly, these Bamas recently ran away from the Koopa Bros Fortress. Of course, things aren't much better here in the village. The fuzzies are running a wild. Poor little Bamas. Huh? Me? I don't leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool of me. They'd probably take my shell and play with it. I know, I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. To be honest, the Koopa's actually playing smart. You must listen. The Koopa Bros in the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no rights. I will never, ever go back to work in such a terrible place. Wow. Um, I wonder, can we go into here and drop any items off? Also, th there are more items in here. Can I actually store items? Uh... Yeah, I want to check some items in. So, I want to put... I'm gonna put the fright jar in. And let's see here, what else? To be honest, we are never gonna use this for a while, so I'm gonna put the super shroom in there as well. Uh, nope. Now, I'm gonna see if I can actually collect those two items now. And I gotta stop being sti stingy with items. Now, if I'm correct. Nope, those were one tiny item grab, so we lost out on a dried mushroom and a Koopa leaf. 
So let's continue forward to the other side of the village. Ooh, an Arco Believe. And let's see here. Now here's the thing you want to do. You want to try to corner this fuzzy. Yeah, unfortunately that's more said than done. As you can see, it'll stay there for a while. Here's a block puzzle, puzzle challenge. Jump up there. Grab that guy's shell. I might have known you're so clever, Mario. Just checking what's in these items. Well, now let's see what's going on in this house. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. What? Wait. Could it be? Are you Mario? You are. My name's Cooper. Wait, as in Sly Cooper? <laughs> oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has gotten to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzies took my shell, which next to my life is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So, if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey Mario, it looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like whoop. Okay, easy enough. York! Get back here, you thief! Get back here, you thief! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just noticed something. These are fightable enemies. We need... Okay, so here's the thing. I find f fighting fuzzies annoying because of one certain thing that they do. Which is why I'm gonna... Actually... I should really stop being stingy on the item, so... I really don't want to use those. We already have two Sleepy Sheep, so I might as well show off what, what a Sleepy Sheep does. A stampede of sheep! And now they can't move for three turns. Which means... I can use... Which means I could probably use time and figure out how much damage one fuzzy even takes, which is three damage. So, if I'm good with my button presses, I should be able to take out a fuzzy within three turns. Well, yeah. Four star points! Now, if you excuse me, there was a fuzzy that was actually chasing me behind me, so where's that fuzzy? Yeah, you also could try to hit them, that would also be nice. Now let's actually fight them for real. And actually get our action commands online as well. Or maybe not. Yeah, they recover HP. And I don't know how to guard them. So I'm gonna try to jump one more time, I will heal yeah, that takes care of that one. And Gumbario can do two damage to this one, and next turn I can basically heal. Yeah, I don't know how to guard that. So, for Mario, you can eat a mushroom. Because that's probably not the only fuzzy we have to deal with. Personally, like I said, I don't like dealing with fuzzies because of that attack. It's hard to block because it grabs onto you and it's just trying to suck you out of your life. Okay, we're going to have to come back here later. And trust me, you want to come back here later. 
And it looks like we're continuing to chasing this one fuzzy. Um, okay. Mjork, Mjork! Come get it if you can! Yeah, yeah! Why do I give that? Mjork, guess where I'm hiding! So, those with the Nintendo Switch version, be glad you have that safe state. So, if you guessed wrong, you have to fight a fuzzy. Personally, I hate fighting them, so let's get this out of the way. Neo, not bad, chump. But that was just a warm up. York, guess where I'm hiding? You didn't even move trees. York, you got me twice. Must be luck. Now I'm serious. York, guess where I'm hiding? Okay, that was very fast, but I am keen that it's this tree. York, no! I give Uncle! Here, take the stupid shell. You got Cooper's shell. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore. I promise! Maybe. Okay then. I mean, if he's gonna promise, we can easily accept that his promise is good for his word, right? Probably. Mario, there you are! I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies, so you left guard just so in case the fuzzy could actually U-turn us. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. If I don't care what I have, no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what I... What? We already got the shell back. Oh, yes, yes! This is my shell! All right! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got my shell back. Uh-huh. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was, a, was in my egg. Imagine a Koopa actually hearing people outside of their eggs. You know, that's gotta actually be weird. Can animals actually hear stuff outside of their eggs? Nothing would make me much happier th than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think I- could I please take me with you? Mario, I'll help! Come on, let me go! What do you think, Mario? Yes, I will take this party member. Oh, yes, yes, I'm on my way! I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the end of the Earth. Cooper, join your party, and Goombario is now forever in my our pocket because that head bonk is not going to do me any good. Press it down to make him throw himself and reach an item or a switch in the distance. While in battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with shell toss, or attack all enemies on the ground with power shell. When you want to switch your partner, press the right and select the member you want to use. So, York! I changed my mind, sucker! How about a fight? Okay! So, I'm getting Cooper out here first and showing off the power of a sh power shell. Basically, it can attack all enemies at once. Unfortunately, it did not take care of all of them. So. Because I don't want to deal with four rounds of basically that, I'm, I don't really want to use Fire Flower quite yet. Actually, I want to keep Pow Block. So, Fire Flower it is. I'm just going to take care of all these enemies right away because I don't like fighting fuzzies. If anything, I could have just done that first off. Now we get 12 star points for it. Nice! 
No! We'll go! We'll be good! We'll be good! You better be good! Scram! Let's continue on. So, to show what Cooper can actually do, let's let's jump up here. I said let's jump up here. And by example, we got the HP plus badge. Increase maximum HP by five. I'm just checking. How much does that even cost? Uh, why is it three? We really need to get more badge points. Let's get back to the village. Yeah, so Cooper can reach items that are far off. So that one star piece that we saw, we can actually retrieve it. And to my knowledge, the fuzzies are still causing havoc. Yes, no. Okay, yeah. Fuzzies are no longer causing havoc in the village. Oop. If you remember how you did this puzzle. Jump up here. And grab your star piece. I don't think you give us a star piece. The fuzzies are gone now. Phew! To tell the truth, it's a bit boring here now. Oh no, it's so boring. Okay, so nice to know that these things can replenish. So if you ever need a Ooh! Trivia time! Go is Quizmo, the name! Quizzes are my game! You want quizzes? I got them! If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Yeah, yeah, yahoo! I'll give you a star piece! Want to try a quiz? Uh, yes. Then let's go to the question! Question! What is the name of Goombario's younger sister? Uh... Goombaria? Okay, good. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! Ooh, a star piece. You correctly answered one question so far! Good luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again! Okay, I love the voice that I gave that guy. Uh, anything else here? Yeah, nothing else, so... With Cooper in hand, that could actually, actually, just curious. With Cooper in hand now, and I was at the Cooper Village, next time on Paper Mario, we'll be heading towards the Cooper Bros Fortress. 